following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look here at the stock market. I did a lot of work over the weekend, and I said it could go a lot higher, but I have all the, all the, um, what do you call it, price objectives I've been reached. And then I listened to TFNN today. Uh, let's try that again. CNBC today, and they said, uh, this is the markets. The bull market is in our third year. <laughs> I don't know where the guy was in 2009. It's the 15th year, folks. Anyway, this is the Dow Jones futures. Uh, 43,300 was the highest I could possibly get, and it's 43,332 uh, right now. So that's probably going to go a little bit higher. I didn't think that S&P could get above 5,900, and it's at uh, 59 something right now, where it's at 5,904 right now. And uh, the Nasdaq has not made new highs yet. The Russell has just you know rallied back to a 61% retracement of the last run, but the uh, all I do know, folks, is when this is over, it, it's it's going to be over. Uh, it's going to be nasty. That's all I can tell you. Hey, why should you believe me? I've been wrong all the way up here since I thought it was going to top here at 42,000. It hasn't. So, anyway, let's move on. Uh, okay, let's talk about a couple other markets. <coughs> the gold market's acting quite nicely. Last night, we had a 61% retracement in the gold. We'll get up here. I think we can get up here and show it to you with any uh, little bit of luck here or not. Uh, here's where we are. <coughs> here's where we were in the gold. Get this up here so you'll be able to see it. We had a beautiful ABCD, as you can see. There was your 61% retracement here. We came down, rallied up one more time, and then down she comes. That usually means we're getting ready for another retracement of what we're going to do now. I have, oh, I have to show you something incredibly, what I think is important to me, but you know, <laughs> it might not mean anything to you. Look what we've done so far today, folks. We're getting really close to this level right here. Watch this. We've hit it several times here over the past two days, so this could be a 3A2 bottom in the gold market, so we got to watch that one very closely. But the most interesting one of all, from the perspective of the things that I talked about during the uh, video last night was, uh, you know, we have a lot of things going, tools that'll help us get through this. So all I wanted to do is to show you the 382 this morning. Look at this. This is yesterday, Friday's low. There's this morning's low. Look, to the exact tick, to the exact tick, it hit it right there, 42983. Now, you don't tell me that those dudes don't know what those numbers are. And that gives you a price objective up here even a lot higher, 43,500. So we could go up another 130. Hey, we could go up 500 points. Who knows? All I know is when it's over, uh, we'll be seeing. We'll be ready when the lady, proverbial lady, gets ready to do her thing. So that's what we're watching here in the Dow Jones here today. Now, I'm struggling a little bit with the voice. I'm uh, only because of the allergies. I'm feeling really good, except for the voice part. Okay, now let's move over uh, to the uh, British pound here because this thing has been coming down quite nicely. We've been short for 10 days. We're down in this area here, folks. We've, we've made more than 400 points on this, which is a huge amount, several thousand dollars, almost $3,000. So there's going to be a rally in here, but hey, Look at this one here. This one came down all the way. Let's just look at it together here so we can see it from this high. All I'm doing now is just repeating the stuff. Ah, shucks. Got to use the right drawing tool. This is the one I want to use. Draw it right there. Get the, ah. Okay, this is going to be rough. Okay, there it is right there. See, we're already below that right now. So we should be in an area. There's a 382 off of the low way, way, way back here, okay? So that should be some type of support right there. In other words, I took the three, let's just clean this out here so we can see it without too much trouble. Get this one out of the way. And you know, this is the hardest part is you're trying to catch something that's never gonna go up. 
uh, the, when you're short, and you can see here the 382 comes in here at 130. We're 52 pip, uh, pip handles away. That's this low right back here. It'll probably take that out. So we need to watch that one real carefully because we've got huge profits. I've already suggested to put a stop at 131.60. That would be right here. That would lock in well over two grand. So that's what we're paying attention to here uh, with the uh, British pound. Uh, okay, uh, people. So several people have asked me, how do I handle these things when uh, the market doesn't do what I think it's going to do? The first thing I do is I write a letter to the Mercantile Exchange and saying, what kind of people do you have over there? I haven't gotten any responses over these past few years, but who knows? Folks, I just move on to the next one. All I know is I want to wait to find a low risk opportunity. And by guys, that's that's what I want to. That's what that's what my job is. And I don't know which ones are going to work and which ones don't. But if you use some of the things that we do, little ABCDs work a lot. Do they work all the time? Of course not. But that's what the name of the game is. We're having a good day. I didn't sell this. I didn't say sell the stock market today. I said just it's, it's made a lot of highs. It could go a lot higher and that it has done that. And the reason why I respected it, because it did go higher. And, you know, we have China, you know, pumping money into it. We got Japan pumping money into it. But folks, <laughs> for, never mind. For every buyer, there's got to be a seller. Let's pay attention to that. Okay, so we're out of the corn, and uh, we'll probably get a buy. Let's we'll do. We'll, I want to do some more work in the wheat because, folks, it, let's let's look at it this way. If this stock market is going to melt up like everybody thinks it's going to melt up, okay, that means there's hyperinflation coming. Okay, stock certificates you cannot eat. Dividends you can take the money and buy some food with it. OK, but you can't eat a stock certificate. So there's going to be a rally in corn and beans and soybean oil and meal and all that stuff, because, you know, that's going to be inflationary. And believe me, the farmers are getting killed, so they're not going to be you know, trying to help anybody out. So all I'm saying is we've got to get ready for some of these things. And that's what I'm looking at. I know we're close to the stock market, but, you know, close is like tiddlywinks and hand grenades. I don't know how long it's going to be, but when it does. We'll hopefully be ready to, to see what's going on here. Let me check the old clock on the wall. I think I got a minute to go, a minute and 20 seconds. Okay, someone's asked a question. Believe it or not, I, I found this hard to believe. Someone wanted to take a look at Apple today. We'll get this up here. Of course, Apple is up on the day, as you can see with everything else. There it is uh, so far today. Uh, Tesla uh, it was up a little bit, I heard. It got creamed on Friday. Well, creamed down a little bit. I have to say something, folks. I watched a space shuttle today being caught in midair. I thought that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. There's Tesla. We had a big move down here. We've been in a downtrend, as you can see here, and that's it. But when I saw that that space shuttle, how they caught it in that little sleeve, whew, man, oh, my, that's really something. I remember when I was sitting with uh, Elon Musk in California a few years ago, I said, you guys ought to try to think of that because mathematically it's possible. He said, you know, Larry, he said, I'll, I'll think I'll look into that. And sure it is today. We saw something like this happening. And if you believe any of that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Let's get back to here where we are standing. <music> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here at the Treasury notes. I'm going to switch over to the weekly chart. If you'll remember, uh, back here, we were looking at this big ABCD pattern. This was the 3A2 on the long-term monthly chart. I'll just bring up the monthly. I think I have it on here, don't I? Yeah, there's your 3A2 on the monthly. Let's get this up here, back on the weekly here. Move it over a little bit. You'll see that uh, it's been coming down quite a bit. And now this is, uh, folks, this is going to be the one that's going to be really important. We're below the 382 already of this whole move. That's We're down six weeks without a rally. Okay. Now, what we have forming here potentially, now that's the key word, potentially is a head and shoulders pattern. There is your left shoulder. There is your head. And your right shoulder is going to be over here. So the first thing you want to do is mathematically see that that level should be coming in right about there it has to stay above that line it could be right now it could be any time but that's what you have to look at so there's your left shoulder there's your head and here's your right shoulder coming in right here at, at 109 boy 109 this is gonna oh my god I, I hate to think what's going to do but anyway we've got that potential set up so the thing that you want to look for next Andrew Lowe said in his book first to make sure that the left shoulder is going to be lower than the right shoulder, which it's going to be, hopefully. But you don't know. We're not here yet. So we want to look at the timing mechanism here. So how many weeks did it take to get from one to the other? And that comes out here at uh, 100, 100, 106 weeks is how long it took. Excuse me, 52 weeks, 53 weeks. And now we're coming in here. Two times 53 is 106. And here we are coming in. Guess where that is, folks, in four days, okay? So that's going to be a potential. We're sitting right at the 382 right here, right now. And we're going to wait a few more days. This is the end of the week here. So we're going to see. we got to be looking at this relatively closely, though, because it's. I, I would think you would think this was oversold, correct? Uh, well, that could be it. But this is, in fact, a perfectly symmetrical head and shoulders pattern. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And right, that, that just the timing part of it here. Here's the price part is right here. Now, if this comes in at this level, then look out. You can see one one heck of a uh, one heck of a rally. But why would anybody put money in notes and bonds when all they got to do is buy stock? Shut the front door. I figured that out at the beginning of the show here today. All right, let's move on to the next one here and take a look at the bonds to see if we see anything like that in the bonds. So we're going to do the weekly here in the bonds. And okay, there's where we are. Okay, there, uh-oh, there's a left shoulder right here. 
here's the head. So all we're going to do the same thing. Now remember the bonds trade a lot more volatile, but the notes are the ones that really count. And the reason why is because that's your interest rates on your cars and all that other stuff. So there's your left shoulder. There's your head. There's your right shoulder. We're going to do the same thing. The timing has to be right because these things are run together. And there it is. We're right here right now. Okay. So all we got to do now is to make sure what price we have to stay above right here. So we're going to take and look at it from a high that we made. Since we made a higher high here, we can take that low up to the high. Now, mathematically, Andrew Lowe does this in his book and with all his computer programs that he has, it does it automatically. So we are within two points of what could be the uh, ABCD, not, well, not an ABCD, a 50% retracement of this whole move right here. That comes in right there. And we also need to check from this level right here. And that's going to come in exactly at this, almost exactly the same price here. Uh, yeah, it's between 117 and 118, point and a half from where we are right now. This was 117, 118. So this is the 61% uh, of that move, and it's 382 of this one. So we're going to be really close in here. Should be coming pretty soon. Remember, we're very, very oversold. But look at this, folks. We were oversold on this, and look at it kept going down, down, down. So it could easily do this, folks. This is a bearish market. It's been bearish for three and a half years, but people don't. Uh, let's just show you how bearish it's been. Look at that. That's a bear market, okay? This is what you're going to be seeing in stocks. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you that, but 100% degree. If, uh, I'm not involved in it, so it doesn't make any difference. Here they were telling us about zero interest rates. The smartest man in the world, uh, Mohammed El Arian, Bill uh, Gross, uh, what's his name, the guy from Harvard, uh, Larry Summers, all telling us the economic advantages of uh, negative interest rates, that uh, you give them the money and they're not going to guarantee that you're going to get it back and they can't even tell you how much interest you're going to get because you're not going to get any because we're just going to save the money for you in these bonds so that everything will be okay. Yeah, well, that looks pretty good. I tried that on my Sarah's uh, eight-year-old grandson, and uh, he didn't fall for it either. Anyway, that's what uh, that's what we're watching here uh, with this one right here. Sorry to get a little emotional, folks, but that's either that's neither here nor there. All right, let's take a look at a couple interesting ones uh, for today. Here, we'll get up here and take a quick look at it. These were the remember this was the crude oil uh, last couple of days. Last night, we came down, stopped right at the 61% retracement right here. A, B, C, D, we had a rally up to the 382, stayed there twice, came back down again, and it's still staying there. We had 382 rally here, boom, stopped right here at the 618, A, B, well, you can see A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and now we went back to the 382. So the market is still bullish, but it's starting to act bearish. We all the, all the little rallies are just 382. So that's all we're doing as well. We're watching some of these things uh, unfold here that we're looking at uh, here today. Now, uh, Norm will not be able to be with us today because he doesn't have any tricity. He told me he said his tricity was out. Evidently, a couple of the trees in his neighborhood uh, came down and took out the uh, lines for the power and stuff and they thought they had it up early this morning but it didn't work and so he told me about a half an hour ago everything's okay he had a little bit of landscaping stuff but other than that the house survived he has hurricane windows hurricane sh shutters you know all that kind of stuff so that's uh, the main thing that we have to worry about uh, i don't know what about you folks but try to help some folks down in that area we have friends in north carolina we also had friends in Georgia that were hit a little bit. Uh, the people in California were or in Florida trying to help those uh, the best we can. But, uh, boy, that's some really bad stuff out there. When you can't get electricity and you can't get any, uh, you know, food and stuff, that's difficult. We have a friend that lives on the eighth floor, one of those big high-rises down in Sarasota, a beautiful building and everything. The two things wrong. The elevators are not working. He lives on the top floor. And the second thing is, is that the uh, – uh, there's no electricity in the building, but he's able to survive due to a generator and the fact that all he has to do is open those windows up there and it gets a balmy breeze off of the Gulf of Mexico. It's a little more than balmy last Thursday, boys and girls, but that was the name of that too. Wednesday, I mean. Let's move on here. Okay, we've covered the things that were right, the things that are wrong. Let's move on here 
to uh, one other thing that we want to pay attention to here right now. Oh, uh, you know what I'm going to do? Because Norm's going, not going to be on here in just a minute. He's not going to be on today. We've got 46 seconds left. I'm going to go through all the work that I did over the weekend in the stock market just to show you the type of things I was looking at because it's just patterns. You know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Today they're not working. Tomorrow they might not be working, but someday they might. That's what we want to figure out. We'll be right back. Folks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, uh, we'll take a look at this market here on the eyes of Goldman Sachs. This shows you the sum total of all the buyers and sellers for the futures and equity positions. It's gone all over the top of my computer here, but this is where it was last week. 
I believe this is a move ending type thing. Uh, a, B, C, D's still working something like this, but right now it hasn't. It's in the moonshot right now. I still can't believe what they did with that space shuttle today. I just couldn't believe that. All right, I want to look at a few of these things that I watched over the weekend, folks, because I did quite a bit of work here. Beginning to look at it here. First, going to go through a few of these things. I want to watch the, uh, first of all, this is the uh, E-mini uh, on the daily. Uh, I was looking to get it up at this level right around 59,000. Uh, that was a number. You got the 59, uh, I forget, 59 and change up in on that one right there. Uh, let's just do them all because this is the uh, important one here. Now we stopped at this is the weekly. It stopped at the 50%. Now if the Chinese market starts getting above here, these things could go anywhere. That means they're stimulating it just like we did with quantitative easing. Uh, here it is on the shorter time frame. We stopped exactly uh, at the 50% of that high back in 2021. And it's also an ABCD pattern uh, in here. I thought that might be the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, swan event or whatever all right let's look at some of these these are the ones that are important this is the weekly here this is where i was looking at 43,000 43,000 three uh, 296 43,000 was the number i was looking at for today and then if we had the uh do the next one which is the daily there it is again 43,000 40 oh wow it hit it exactly 43,044 huh, i'll be darned Anyway, let's move on here to the next one here. Same thing. This is the same thing that only looked at a little bit differently. Now, uh, next one we want to take a look at is we want to get down here and look at some of these uh, cash indexes. This is the cash. You can see here, this is what I was looking at here. Uh, this is the ABCD here, and this cash uh, chart ETF. It's the ETF spider, okay? That is also should have got the f uh, 581. Uh, it's at 583. Uh, if we, this is the daily, you'll be able to see the same thing here. There it is, 583. That was the 1.27 expansion up here of that number right there. And then we had the Russell. The Russell has gotten up to, uh, hasn't even been close. I think the high on the Russell today has been 2265 or something like that. It hasn't quite taken that out as yet. This is the weekly chart too, folks. So that's another big one because it hasn't been following along uh, too much. Now we'll get on to the NASDAQ. Uh, you remember this is where we had this move. We had this big drop, folks. This was a this was a hundred thousand dollar move, believe it or not, in the Nasdaq. And now uh, we've rallied back, and we're back up into those highs again. Now, we're not quite to the old highs, but we're getting close. So that's always uh, still another possibility. And then I believe we had on the da the daily Nasdaq. I wanted to get that. The high today should have been uh, two thousand six fifty six. That's what I was looking at uh, for today. So what we'll do here, just for kicks and giggles, to see how uh, the old ABCD was working today, I just come up here, take a quick look, and then we're going to come up here and uh, look at the old NASDAQ and see how 206.56, 206.56, and we'll get this up here on the daily. I think it's right. Is two? Uh, I had 206.56. That was the the high today was 206.80. What did I do wrong? Oh, this thing is set wrong. Yeah, 206.80 was the number. There was a that was 206.80, and let me double check on that. Let me get that right up here. Hold on just a minute, folks. Yeah, 206.56. Ah, I I had the thing drawn from the wrong place. 206.56 was the number, and. Uh, high as 206.80 so maybe that's going to be something hey there might be a sell-off of 20 30 minutes today who knows maybe even as long as one day but when you hear stuff like uh uh best or the uh, folks that uh well we did take those highs out from september which was good but that's also still bullish but when you hear people say that this is the beginning of a a new bull market folks this bull market's been going on since uh, may the march the 5th of 2000 and Nine, so it's 15 years, the longest bull market in the history of the stock market, which only goes back 230 years, I believe. Here's what I am watching. This is the long term, going back. This is where we were here, 2009. Okay, that that number right there, on the March the 5th, was setting exactly. The Dow was trading at 6660, 6600. It was an exact 61% retracement 
of the low from way back here in uh, 2001, I believe. Uh, no, 19, oh, what was it? I forget which one it was, but that's what it was. And then we can see we had, this was COVID right here. Uh, and I forget what this one was, uh, whatever. Anyway, you can see the ABCDs. We're measuring up into this area right here with all these patterns coming together. But, you know, unless it goes down, it doesn't really mean anything. Just be really careful if you long any of this stuff, folks, because I've been looking at this stuff for a long time. And when it's over, they're going to, they're going to, well, you're going to know. I'll have to, I'll tell you that. You're, you're just going to know. That's, uh, that's the basis of uh, what we're watching here. Uh, well, at least that's been in the past. Maybe it's going to be different this time, and I don't know how high is high. We might go to 6,100, 6,200 in the S&P. We might go to 50,000 in the Dow. That's always a possibility. So anyway, that's uh, what we're looking at here uh, so far uh, this morning. Now let's move over here, and uh, we had a couple questions about one other stock. Hold on, let me get it up here, which is uh, – Amazon, where is Amazon right here? Here's Amazon right here. I think that should be up today. Uh, nope, actually it's down on the day, believe it or not. I was up, but now it's down on the day. Here it is uh, right here. Yeah, we uh, matched the high and we're actually trading down just slightly here in Amazon. This, you know, once we broke this to the upside, you know, we pulled back. Uh, it looks like the pullbacks in this, just double check both of them because we'd like to watch these numbers from your low here. Up to your high, uh, it didn't quite make the 382 on the downside here. On the previous low, it looks like it went exactly, no, missed it by, yeah, it went to the, just between the 50 and 61, so it's not doing very much at all. Okay, that's pretty much the only question we had for that one. We'll get this out of the way. And let me get back here for just one second. Um, I have to do a little manipulation here. Oh, we got a break coming in I think don't we or somebody oh we got 49 seconds hold on just a second I've got to get these things lined up otherwise I get a little bit confused which in my case doesn't take very long so those are the main ones that we're watching right here and uh, just double check everything just for safe geeks and giggles here all right let's move on here all right we'll take a little break and we'll be we'll be right back Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider funds investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, this is the U.S. dollar index uh, on daily going back uh, a little over a year. What we're going to do is remember when we were down at this level here, taking out that level, we said this doesn't mean this is going to go you know, kaput, because we were looking at this on the weekly chart, and it was setting right at a monster ABCD right there. If you believe in ABCD, then that's it. Oh, look at this. Now, you see this market like this? What does that remind you of right here when the dollar index was up here? And Euro was, uh, dollar index was up here at 115, and Euro was trading about 94. What does that remind you of? Well, that wouldn't be the stock market, would it? No, sure it is. Well, that's what it looks like right now. Only trouble is it's jumped off the top of the old Dell computer. Anyway, there's where we are. You can see we started to move up really strongly, folks. We've up one, two, three. We're in the third week straight up. Look at the last time we had that happen. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay? Bada bing, bada boom. So don't don't hold off on that British pound because it's going to be going lower because it's just the reverse of the U.S. dollar most of the time. All right. Now going back and look at this on the daily. You can see here we were setting at some pretty interesting spot here at the 382. Didn't even make a difference because this thing is really turned. And so the minimum objective here would be like we did the last time we came off of a big bottom. Just go over and do the old work that old Andrew Lowe's computers do. And that'll take us right up here to about 104. Okay, and then we'll see if we're going to have a uh, if we're going to have a pullback here in the U.S. dollar. All right, now let's take a look here at the euro because that'll be the reverse of that. And as you come up and take a look at this, is the, this is the euro with the futures. I haven't looked at this in so long. Yeah, well, you can tell that. You see all this data missing. I use the I use Forex. Trade the futures, but I use Forex for my entries. And we'll move up here. Actually, here's where you are right here. There's your euro. We'll get it up here. You can see it's been going downtown and it's still going downtown. I'll fix these gaps here. Hold on one second. Refresh. Uh, there we go. There's the gaps. Now we're setting right at the old 50% level of this last move right here. But like we showed you with that dollar index, it's no reason to even think about uh, taking out yet because uh, this has been going down now for 13 days and still working. You know, when you're short 11 of the 13 and it goes down, that's a good thing. Unfortunately, I'm not long the stock market for 13 days up. But that's neither here nor there. Some days it's chicken salad. Some days it's something else. So that's it. Okay, now someone asked about one other currency that we don't act, look at very long, which is uh, we were watching it last night because of the fact that it had a pretty good chance. It's the Australian dollar. Get up here and you'll see we were looking at this Australian dollar at this level right here at 46.17. We haven't gone anywhere. We went a little bit lower this morning. Okay, but look, look at this on an hourly chart. You see, this is the one. There it is. You see, it went round down a mat. That's where our, that's where our buy was. We came down and touched it again. And now, what you have to do is, if you're in this trade, you bought that at 617, like I suggested. That was off this. Then you want to put your stop right below here. You only you're only risking right now at this particular point. You're risking around 200 dollars. 
So that's what I would do. And I frankly don't know whether it's going to work or not, but like everything else, we took this out by one tick. Stop was right below here at 97. So, you know, you don't have to risk very much. It's all about how much money you have to risk, folks, not how much money you make. The money is there. If you take it easy and, you know, don't get too wrapped up in your emotionalism of your uh, uh, psychic and stuff and have too big of an ego, which is always bad, get this out of the way. And now we'll move this out of the way, too, because we don't need to see that. Hold on one second. And uh, someone asked me to recheck the Dow Jones. All right, just a second here. I'll get it up here. I do the Dow Jones futures, folks. I don't do the index itself. Uh, except on the weekends, I do it uh, just to double check that it's doing the same thing that it's always doing, which is going up and down. And here's where we are here. Get this up here with the daily, I guess, is where we are. Yeah, we're back to 43,000 again. This, this is the weekly chart that I get that 43,000 on. There it is right there. 43,000, well, 43,290. We're at 43,297 right now. So that's the. Last number that I have is right up here. This is where they open the gates of the OK Corral like they do every October coming up here this weekend. If you're in Tombstone, Arizona, it's the big Wyatt Earp OK Corral festival that they have every year where you can go to the Jewish cemetery there where Big Nose Kate is buried and a lot of other guys like, um, what was his name, Lester Moore. Here lies Lester Moore, shot four times with a 44. No less, no more. There are 50 tombstones, actual tombstones from 1865, folks, of what they, you wouldn't believe what are on these tombstones. Actually, if you can believe it. All you have to do is go online, and you can pull them up and take a look at them because it's really something. But, boy, is it a busy weekend over there. I don't know if you folks know this or not, but in 1865, tombstone was bigger than Los Angeles. Believe it or not, in 1865. 1865 was when Tucson was founded, and it also was bigger than Los Angeles. The reason why, they had silver mines up there, and the silver mines are long since gone, and so are the old cowboys, their old history. So anyway, there's what we're paying attention to here uh, this morning. I wanted to show you one other chart that I thought was real interesting here. Hold on a second. I'll get it up here. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Where is it? Uh, ah, here's what I want to show you. This is the one that really puzzles the heck out of me because the, new, the Dow Jones uh, transportation is broken out, and I want to show you the chart of the number one shipper of goods in the United States is UPS. And look at this chart, folks. Can you believe that this is a bull market in UPS? I mean, what are they doing with the parcels? They must be sending them through Alaska or something. They can't make any money with all, all the pack packages are supposed to be doing good. And we're seeing the same thing, not as badly, of course, is in Federal Express. If we looked at Federal Express, it's also not doing very good, at least with the airlines. You know, some of them are going up to tell you, yeah, other people are traveling, but why aren't they shipping packages? Look at, the, look at, look at, the, look at this giant uh, island reversal that we had here. This has been going down, you know. Well, it's a $300 stock, but now it's only 266 Well, don't look too bad. Yeah, it's held up relatively. This looks pretty good compared. To, this is 40% of the shipping. 60% goes to, uh, well, but the big one is UPS. Second is FedEx, and the others are basically DHL and stuff are pretty much uh, insignificant here. Okay, we've got just a second left. Someone had one other stock, stock and that's Archer, Daniels, Midland, and we'll see. Uh, how, if it's still going higher, it was the last time I checked. Whoops, nope, it stopped. So there's where we were here. And this tells you the farmers are in trouble. You can see it looks like we're going lower here, folks. It doesn't really give you much uh, hope here if you're in the farming business. Oh, wait a minute. There's some bigger numbers back in here. Yeah, okay. One of the things we're going to focus on here, on the, some of the videos I'm going to be sending out this week, are looking at spots here to get long some wheat, long some corn, long some soybean oil, because if these stocks are going to go up forever, people are going to be eating more, so they're going to need some stuff to stuff in their mouth, and maybe it'll be uh, high-priced hogs and high-priced cattle. We'll find out uh, as we look at some of these here unfold here. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers, whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. By the way, I heard from Norm Winsky, and Norm doesn't need any uh, help uh, uh, from us, but uh, there are other people that do, so contact TFNN. They're the heartbed of all this uh, stuff. So if you got a couple extra shekels that you want to, you know, share with somebody, that would be the thing that I would do because they know the people in that area that are hurting the worst. Uh, I'll take a few moments here just to talk about the, you know, the letter that I sent out this weekend, you know, warning of this potential top that I see in the market. And, you know, hey, I, I'm wrong a lot. And uh, I don't I don't think so this time. But, you know, <laughs> well, but the only thing wrong is the timing. You know, I haven't been like the Elliott Way people. I haven't been calling a top since uh, 1991, but uh, this one here is pretty big. We hit pretty good on the September 3rd one. We did pretty good on the one on July 17th, but this one has gone up a lot higher, and it should because it's been the greatest bull market of all time. But when you start seeing this stuff on TFNN, ah, CNBC, and Bloomberg that I'm watching this morning, boy, those are warning signs from my perspective because I look – you know, it's a contracyclical, uh, you know, different to what the human thinks about. You know, you got to be the, got to be the most afraid at the bottom and uh, most afraid at the tops. But that's not work. Cause great greed is a greater emotion than. Let's say I did that wrong. Fear is a greater emotion than greed, because you can see the physical characteristics of of fear. You don't see characteristics like that when you have greed. It's euphoria. Everything's great. Let's have or want marijuana, whatever is your your drug of choice. Anyway, that's uh, that's what you got to remember. Anyway, watching it closely, 
you know, when the, when the party's over, folks, it's going to give us lots of time. You, you've been with me a long time, you know. 3A2 is going to be there. A, B, C, D, 1, 3, 5, they'll be, they'll be our friends just like they always are. Hey, I'm, I'm not complaining. You know, we're having a pretty good day. We were short hogs, got stopped out of a small loss in corn, and uh, wheat's doing pretty good. So we'll see how these things work out. Crude oil worked well. So those are the ones we're watching. So let's do everything we can to stay in business, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Our guest tomorrow will be uh, Grace Morris out of Florida. Hopefully she's okay. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. And may God bless. Thank you.